good morning students today we are going to start with the new chapter that is chapter number 4 introduction to flash cs6 now before starting our chapter first let us see what we mean by flash a flash is a multimedia software that is widely used so you can create both graphics and animation in flash basically a flash is a vector based animation program which means the image and graphics created in it can be scaled to any size while maintaining the high resolution and the picture quality remains unaffected so as you can see there is a diagram below this is an example of animation so you can create any animated movie cartoon computer game or ebook which is a combination of images audio video and other effect with the help of flash so all the version of flash are called adobe flash now let us see how to start the flash cs6 to start the flash follow these steps now first you have to click on the start button when you click on the start button you have to select all program option now when you click on all program option you will see adobe master collection cs6 will get displayed on your screen next click on the adobe flash professional cs6 as soon as you click on this you will see the adobe flash professional cs6 welcomes screen appears on your monitor next under the create new pane select the action script 301 so which action script you have to choose you have to choose the action script 3.0 in the create new pane a new flash window will appear and you can see all the major operations are performed on this particular screen the default file extension of flash file is .fla so students you must be aware of what is the file extension of flash file that is .fla now coming to the components of flash window the various components of the flash window can be learned first we will see about the title bar the title bar displays the name of the current file the default name is untitled 1 so as you can see the picture the default file name is untitled 1 you can change this name while saving the file next components comes to be paste board it is the light gray area around the stage this area is used to store the objects until you wish to display them on a stage next we will see about timeline it is a rectangular window present below the stage it is divided into frames timeline is used to control the sequence and timing of objects or contents of a movie so we can control the sequence what is the timing given to the object that we can control from this timeline next the main components of timeline are frames keyframes layers and playhead now first we will see about playhead the playhead indicates which frame is playing on the stage so it is indicated by a red rectangle with a vertical line so you can see there is a red colored line vertical line present on the timeline so this red rectangle with a vertical line is called the playhead next coming to keyframes keyframes are used to define the major changes in the state of an object for example with the help of a keyframe you can show animation such as change in the position color shape of an object next we have frame the frame is indicated by little rectangular cells on the timeline so frames are used to add animation effect to an object so you can see small little tiny frames present on the timeline next we have layers layers are like a stack of transparent sheet each layer can hold only one animation at a time 
and is treated as an individual thing. So by default, a flash document opens with a single layer only. So we are having a single layer over here. Next, coming to the tool panel. This panel contains various tools that help you in drawing, painting, selecting and modifying text and graphic object. It let you change the view of the stage. So you can change the view using this tools panel. Next comes the stage. It is the rectangular white area present in the center of the flash screen. So you can see the small rectangular white area present. This is known as the stage. So this is the main working space where you can place the contents such as graphics, objects, text, video or clips. So you can create your drawings and movies in this area. Next coming to the menu bar. So this bar is located at the top of the flash window. It has various menus which contain the common command and functions such as saving, opening, editing and so on. So with the help of menu bar, you can save your file, open it, edit it and so on. Next coming to your properties panel. Anything that you add to a flash document such as text, space, image, graphic, video, so on is called an object. So when you select an object on the stage, its properties are displayed in the properties panel. The list of property varies depending on the object selected. So it is used for changing the settings like we can change the settings of stage size, background color can be changed, we can change the frame rate. So changes to the object or document attributes, we can do it from the properties panel. Next, we will see about tools panel. So tool panel is one of the main components of Flash software. Using these tools, you can create shapes, fill color, select and move shape or graphic and so on. So it allows to draw color and modify and object. Now let us see what is the tool panel. So we have selection tool present, free transform tool, pen tool, line tool, pencil tool, deco tool, eyedropper tool, hand tool, fill color tool, stroke color tool, Zoom tool, eraser tool, paint bucket tool, brush tool, rectangular tool, text tool, lasso tool, 3D rotation tool and sub selection tool. So we will study in details about all these tools. Now first let us learn about the line tool. So line tool is present in our drawing tools. So using these drawing tools, you can draw any ready-made shape and freehand drawing. So this tool is used to draw a straight line. To use this tool, you have to first select the line tool in the tools panel. Go to the properties panel, define the stroke color, line, thickness, line style in their respective fields. Now bring the pointer onto the stage, click and drag it to draw a line in a desired direction. Now as soon as you release the mouse, you can see the desired line has been drawn on the stage. So you can change the style of the line. You can give it a solid line, dashed line, dotted lines and raised lines and so on. So you can do any settings in the properties panel. Next tool we will be discussing is drawing tool. We are having curving a straight line. Now to curve a straight line, you have to select the selection tool in the tools panel. Bring the pointer to the center of the line and you will notice a curve symbol appears right below the arrow. Now click and drag the pointer to give a curve line and release the mouse button once the desired curve is made. Next drawing tool we will deal with is rectangle tool. 
So this tool is used to draw rectangular and square shape. To draw a rectangle first select the rectangle tool. In the properties panel define the stroke color and fill color or fill size. Now what you have to do you have to bring the pointer onto the stage. Click and drag it on the stage to draw a rectangle. Now as soon as you release the mouse you can see a rectangle with defined settings appear on the stage. So you can fill any color stroke or you can use any style of the rectangle. You can be dashed or it can be solid and so on. So this is the way to add a rectangle on the stage of a flash window. Next we will see about polystar tool. Next drawing tool we will deal with is polystar tool. Now this tool is used to draw polygons and star. To use this tool you have to select the polystar tool in the drop down menu of the rectangle. So there is a drop down menu present in the rectangular tool you have to select the polystar tool. Now in the properties panel define the stroke color and fill color its thickness and style. So you can change the properties in the properties panel. Under the tool setting click on option tab you can see the tool setting dialog box will open. Click on the style drop down arrow and select either polygon or star option. If you want to draw polygon you can select the polygon option. If you want to draw the star you can draw a star option. In the number of slide text box specify the value anywhere between 3 and 32. So you can define the value from 3 to 32. Enter the value between 0 and 1 in the star point size textbook to specify the depth of the star point. So you can specify any star point between 0 and 1. If the number is closer to 1 then the star points will be deeper. So if it is closer to 1 sorry closer to 0 then the star points will be deeper. Now as soon as you click on OK the tool setting dialog box will close and you have to place the pointer and drag it to draw the selected shape. So next tool we will be dealing with is pen tool. The pen tool of Flash functions differently as compared to a regular pen tool. This tool is used for drawing precise path in form of straight line and smooth curves. So to use this pen tool you have to first select the pen tool in the tools panel. Define the stroke color, thickness and style in the properties panel. Bring the pointer onto the stage and click on the stage where you wish to set the first point. Now what you have to do? You have to click again to define the second point. So a straight line will appear on the stage with two anchor points. These are the points where you had clicked. So it will create a straight line between the two points you have clicked with the help of a mouse. Now click as many times as you want to draw a desired path. Each point will be connected automatically. So here I have used the second diagram. You can see I have used six points to draw my image. Next, if you have two choices, you can either leave the path open or create a closed shape. So you can either leave it open. As you can see in my first diagram, it is open. And in the second diagram, we have created a closed shape. So if you want to open path then simply double click on the last point. But if you want to close a path you have to place the pointer over the first point and a small blank dot appears next to the pen tip. Click and the path closes. So this was dealing with the pen tool. Next coming to the pencil tool. This tool is very similar to a real pencil and can be used to draw freehand drawing. So with the help of pencil tool we can do freehand drawing. To draw with the pencil tool you have to first select the pencil tool. As soon as it is selected its modifier appear at the bottom of the tools panel. So you can click on the modifier icon to view all the available options. So their available options are straighten mode. This modifier automatically straightens the line drawn on the stage using the pencil tool. So by default we are having the straighten mode. Next mode we have smooth. 
it draws smooth and curved lines the third modifier we are having is the ink modifier this does not make any modification so this doesn't make any modification it is a free hand drawing so in this manner you can select the desired pencil mode and in the properties manner you can define the stroke color thickness and style click and drag the pointer will draw the line so in this manner we have completed about how drawing tools work in our next video we will be dealing with our selection tools so till then thank you students